Right, hello and welcome to Crusader 1089's real drawing in Photoshop tutorials. Uh, I'm sure this is going out to everyone who's looked on YouTube, searched how to draw in Photoshop, and found, a p while a reasonable uh, demonstration of drawing, not really a tutorial. So this is a tutorial, and today I'm going to be going over sketching. Now I'm making a few assumptions. The first one, you have a copy of Photoshop. Now, if you don't have a copy of Photoshop, I can't help you. Sorry about that. I suggest you either find a copy on eBay, or if you want to be illegal and torrent it. You know, if you want. That's what most people seem to do. I didn't, but so a lot of people do. Right, so you need a copy of Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop 7. If you use, uh, it works almost the same as every other version of Photoshop after this. It's the, uh, so if you have CS, CS2 or CS3, you'll find it works exactly the same, but it looks a lot nicer. And, uh, okay, uh, we're going to go through sketching today. I'm also assuming, I should point out, that you do know how to draw. If you don't know how to draw, you can follow my tutorials, but your ability will be limited by your ability to draw. Uh, so I'm assuming you can draw on paper, and this will teach you how to draw in Photoshop. So first we want to go to File, select New, and by default it comes up as an A4 page, and you want a resolution of about 3000 pixels per inch. Now that's good for digital work and for printing. It's They both work well. For digital work, if you're going to publish it on the internet, you're going to scale it down before you publish it, but we'll go over that later. If you want to print it, as in a, in a book or even on a computer printer, this is the resolution you need. Uh, okay. So we're open, we've opened up Photoshop, and we've got a we've got a huge brush size. This is useless for drawing. So we're gonna we're gonna get rid of this brush size. I'm using the eraser tool there. We'll go over that later. And we're gonna go to brush sizes. For the brush sizes, what we want is a nice size. I'm going to go for a nut for a 13 it, thir size 13 brush. That's 13 pixels across, and it's a nice brush. Now. I have set this up slightly differently, just because that's the way I work. But these windows will be uh, on your thi on your software anyway. You need to go into Windows and select uh, the brush brushes window if it's not already open. Usually, usually in Photoshop 7, it's up here where the, where the cursor is, but I've I've got it here uh, instead. And you want to select Other Dynamics. This will make it uh, what we want. Now you also have to go into window uh, into Windows and select Layers. Now layers work by se series of shall we say transparent paper laid on top of each other. And we're going to go to we're going to add a layer. That's this icon here. You've got a layer here called Layer One, and we're going to we're going to relabel that. We get you double click on it, and we're going to label it. Skeleton. skeleton. That's probably spelt wrong. I don't know, and I don't care. And uh, today we're not going to do anything complicated. We're not going to do anything fancy, really. We're just going to draw an out. We're just going to draw a circle. Uh, get uh, a bit of backbone and some shoulders, just to show how you sketch. Um, so uh, with with other dynamics on, we've got a brush that acts kind of like a pencil. The harder you push the blacker it is, and the softer you press, the clearer it is. If And also the harder you press, the thicker it is. So I'm going to zoom in, um, and we're going to sketch a little circle for his head. Going down, shul shul neck, shoulders, circle there, circle there. I'm not sure if this is a boy or a girl yet. It'd probably be a girl. I seem to draw a lot of those at the moment. And uh, and that's your your skeleton layer. Now we're going to add a new layer. Remember that's down here, down here there. And we're going to call this one. We're going to call this one uh, full sketch. Now with this, you'll do whatever you do. <laughs> um, but you just draw over the top, and you flesh out the face, pull out the shoulders. I'm not doing very well today. I've had a lot of exams today. Been doing statistics. 
Maybe one of those statistics. Got some boobs. Actually, that's crap. Yeah, so I screwed that up, didn't I? So, we're going to have to use the eraser tool. Now, if in your average drawing on paper, you'll be saying, Oh no! I'm going to lose everything! But no! In Photoshop, because we've put it on separate layers, we keep the skeleton that we had at the base before. So, we've lost all the stuff that we had. I mean, we, I didn't have to lose it all, but I wanted it to be all gone, because I was doing crap. Uh, but now it's all gone, but our skeleton, that's this layer here, still there. And I can doodle all over it, get rid of the doodles, go back to the full sketch layer, and add a face, add a face, and shoulders, arms, that kind of thing. And I think I'll make it a man, actually. Men are easier. Fit this body shape better. Big man shoulders, big man chest, big man, and so on. And then we want to go up to the top, label this, and add another layer. Call this one, don't know what you want to call it. Call it, um, let's call it pre inks. I don't tend to name them, I'm just making it easier for you. Pre inks, and from here you would draw all the stuff. So you draw the hair, you'd uh, draw the clothes. This guy, I think he's my character, third character from my comic Jaden Crusader. If you look on my DeviantArt page, you can see it. And that's his face, that's his jacket. We don't bother with the, in the sketching. We don't bother too much with the features of the face. We're just interested in getting the shape down. And uh, that's how we sketch in Photoshop. Uh, join me in the next tutorial and we'll go over inking with this picture and I'll continue it all the way to colouring for you. Okay, so thanks very much for watching.